Mason Mount deals edging closer after passing a medical, or I mean, completing his medical at Manchester United. And of course, Manchester United are linked to Amrabat. Sophia Amrabat as well, the Moroccan midfielder. It's a lot to talk about, guys, but while you're out here, guys, make sure you subscribe to Red United TV and also follow Red United TV on Twitter as well. Make sure you follow Red United TV on Instagram, Red United TV One before we get kicked off today's show and of course as well subscribe to the twitch channel make sure you smash that like button and share across all social media platforms as well because we are here to talk about everything mason mount and of course our latest transfer linked which is amrabat and we start off with mason mount of course guys we've got mason mount who's one step closer to moving to manchester united after completing a medical today and of course, he's trending all over Twitter as well, and also everywhere across all social media platforms. Mason Mount himself, Fabrizio Romano, has admitted and declared that Mason Mount has completed a medical test as the new Manchester United player at Carrington today. Contract until 2028 plus options to confirm. People have also come out with this guy's um, breaking. Mason Mount has completed his medical. Look at him there, just looking good in that Manchester United shirt. You know, I'm starting to warm up to this. And of course, my boy, Flawless himself, has also got his stream. Make sure you guys check that out as well. The United Stand has also tweeted saying that breaking Mason Mount has completed his medical for Manchester United. And we're hoping that the move is completed by tomorrow and he's presented as a Manchester United player so he can hop on and be part of the preseason, which I believe either starts this week or the week after. But of course, I just hope that happens real quick. You know, Manchester United take their time with it. Take their time with it. Take the no, no, no. we take our time with it when it comes to transfers and breaking news. Of course, Sky Sports themselves has given us the latest news on that. Let's hear what they have to say. So for Mason Mount's sake, that his medical is all indoors in nice warm places because if he's outside at the moment, they'll be getting absolutely soaked. It's pouring down here, but of course, I guess it's weather he's going to have to get used to. But as you say, uh, confirmation from United this morning that that medical is indeed taking place. Uh, medicals, medicals, as we know, can be a little bit long and complicated, sometimes split into different parts. As you see, the medical that we know, we uh, you know, and transfers take some time because it's split into parts. But hopefully, it should be it's, it's complete today. We're just hoping for an announcement. Let's continue. Uh, so it's a sign that we're inching closer to this deal. But of course, at the moment, uh, no, no real uh, indication as to when that deal is going to be completed, and we get things like squad numbers and, and facts like that. Uh, we do know it's a, a five-year deal that uh, he was offered by United with the option for an extra year. Uh, it's cost them uh, around £60 million, pounds and it's the fourth bid that United have uh, had accepted. So. That's where we are at at the moment, uh, and of course for Eric Ten Hag, uh, it's it's a terrific prospect. He'll be delighted and relieved, I would think, to be getting this one. To be fair, we are all delighted and relieved to be getting this deal out of the way because, of course, if this was the f deadline day and this was the only transfer, a lot of you guys will be pissed off. I'll be screaming. They'll be throwing the pram, everything, the kitchen sink, everything like just. Where, where, what the hell is this? This club is just going nowhere, and that's a lot of rich fans. They think already this club ain't going nowhere because it's not the transfer window that we dreamt for it to be due to the club not being able to sell the club as soon as possible. The Glazers, the virus, you know what I mean, guys. But let's continue with this one nearer to the finishing line and to, to see Mount lining up in midfield alongside the Casemiro and, and, and Ericsson. Uh, then it begs the question, of course, what happens next? Because he's got 42 days to the big kickoff against Wolves. An awful lot of talk and speculation about what's going to happen up top uh, and his need for a central striker and also a goalkeeper. Uh, two names that have been very, very much discussed in the last 24 hours. Uh, Andre Onana, the interkeeper uh, if David De Gea's 12-year stay at Old Trafford is indeed over. Of course, he was made a free agent on Friday. And then in terms of the uh, striker situation, Rasmus Hoyland, he's a young Danish striker. He's been scoring goals for fun in Serie A for Atalanta, very highly regarded. There's talk of a £40 million bid being prepared for him. The which has probably hasn't been submitted, but I'm hearing that it might get rejected. They believe that Manchester United believe that they can get uh, Heisland for cheap, 
cheap fee on the 50 million but let's see how that goes the problem then for United is that they've nearly spent up because all the indications this summer are that Eric Ten Hag would only have around £120 million to spend because of financial fair play regulations. That then begs the question that if he wants to spend more, he's going to have to sell. And the likes of uh, Maguire, Martial, McTominay, Fred and Sancho all being mentioned at the moment. So an awful lot more likely to happen here in the next few weeks. But at the moment, the focus today very much on mason mount and i hope he's warm and dry i hope mason mount is warm and dry because it was raining there at manchester manchester as well you know but let's just hope that that's done tomorrow everything's announced and we can all be happy of course um continue on mason mount we've got an article here by the express that mason mount faces a uh, interviewing man united welcome after undergoing a carrington medical uh, Mason Mount is Im imminently expected to be unveiled as a Manchester United player. Mason Mount could make his Manchester United deb debut against bitter rivals Leeds United and also next week after putting pen to paper on a five-year deal. The former Chelsea midfielder was under undergoing a medical at United, Carrington training base today, and the Red Devils expect to announce he is their player tomorrow. And we are hoping that takes place tomorrow, that we announce that Mason Mount is our player. But big up to everyone as well. Make sure you subscribe to Red United TV and smash that like button as we go. We've got one more news for you guys. And this involves Sophia Amrabat, the Moroccan player. And, and, and this just came out today. As you can see here, guys, Manchester United find an agreement with 26 million Syria R star as they look to stretch the 120 million pound budget. To stretch that money, guys, Man United have agreed terms with Ferrotino midfielder Amrabat, with the Red Devils now looking to agree a fee, according to reports. Eric Ten Hag is looking to stretch his stretch his reported 120 million pound budget for, for a new player. With around 60 million on that put aside for the imminent arrival of Mason Mount, the Man United board will allow Ten Hag to use any funds raised via sales to the port straight back into his budget. With rumors as many as 13 squad players are up for sale. Amrabat himself will see what really takes place, you know. I'll be honest with you guys, if you're asking me, I've already spice. What's your thought on Amrabat? I am not feeling it as well, guys. He's a good player. He's a good player. I've seen what he's done, especially in the World Cup. And I believe, I think he was at the Premier League at one stage. Whether he's, he's a good fit for Manchester United squad is down to Eric Ten Hag. And as you know, guys, I trust my manager, Eric Ten Hag. So if he wants this player, he kind of sees what he can do with this player and, and thinks he can do a job for Manchester United in the midfield. Maybe supporting Chris, I mean, supporting Bruno Fernandez, Mason Mount, and as well as like Casemiro. Then let's hope so. And, and then I hope it works out. But this is just rumors, guys. You know, whether it's going to happen, I don't know. But my personal opinion is that at this moment, we'll take anyone, we'll take what we can take right now because boy, oh boy, we are desperate for players because nobody's going out. Nobody wants to leave. You know, Maguire's out here playing hard. You know, refusing to probably take the 10 million and go. The De Gea situation, the goalkeeper, or Nana, we'll see what happens. You know, a lot of French players just haven't been sold. Fred, McFred, I mean, Scott McTominay, so many players. Martial as well. You know, so many players. Alanga hasn't been sold. So we're hoping all of this gets done as soon as possible. But it is what it is, guys. But yes, guys, this has been your latest Manchester United news. Make sure you subscribe to Red United TV for those who just watched the video. Smash that like button and also share across all social media platforms. This is your Manchester United channel as well. So make sure you subscribe for more videos like this. And of course, make sure you follow me on Instagram as well. Um, personally, I've run on the school spice, but make sure you follow Red United TV's official Instagram page going on to 17,000 followers. And make sure you follow your boy on Twitter as well i've run on the school spice and follow me on twitch as well guys this has been your latest manchester united news will this mason mount fee be agreed you guys let me know in the comments let me know what your thoughts on amrabat as well and the mason mount situation till next time guys remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united your boy is out peace